we had just started the war with Iraq. Like literally, the guys had just gotten back from OIF-1, like the invasion of Iraq. I mean, we were the next up to go, you know, like, and, and it was like now the insurgency was, was going kind of full bore and it was definitely very much still the wild, wild west over there. You know, I was part of, you know, an elite military unit um, who was deploying to what is, I think, without question, like the most violent region in Iraq at that time. I mean, all the things that you think would happen happened, like the platoon sergeant is like, you know, giving you that talk as a platoon, like not everyone's gonna come back, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure everyone gets home, but the reality is that's not gonna happen. It didn't happen last time, and it's probably not gonna happen this time. And then I deployed, and that was like a, a profound experience. And then finally I got into sector, and it didn't disappoint. And um, like we were in contact right away, and it was just like, welcome to Iraq. You know what I mean? Like, enjoy your stay. Like, you know, this is how it's going to be all year. And then we started losing guys. And uh, we lost, like, a lot of guys, a lot of leadership. And uh, it got to a point where I think uh, people just kind of lost it. And I found out that uh, members of my squad had essentially uh, raped and, and murdered uh, this family. That was a messed up day. We were just sitting there in the tent talking. And I was just like, just in awe. Because like, I mean, you're talking about at this point too. Like, I mean, we lost so many guys. There was just like, I didn't even, the last funeral I went to, I couldn't even cry anymore. And, you know, you're just like, you know, we all signed a flag, you know what I mean? Like before, and it's just like, holy crap. You know what I mean? Like none of those guys made it. Like, it's just us now, you know? Like, I mean, that, and that's what it was like. That, that's what that moment was like with Uribe. It was just like, in a million years, you know what I mean? Like, would you have ever thought that we would have gone through this? You know, that you and I would be sitting here as one of however many survivors of this platoon? Like, this is just unreal, you know? And I think I said something to that effect. And, I, and then Uribe was like, yeah, this is messed up, man. He's like, you remember that family? that family they got, uh, they got murdered. And I was like, which family, you know? And he's like, you know, the one near checkpoint too, the, the one with the little girl and, and the, like the 14, 15 year old girl. I was like, yeah, Raj. He's like, that was us, man. And I was like, I'm, I'm sorry. And, and he was just like, yeah, that was Green. Green did that. I confirmed it like, after Uribe had told me um, essentially what had happened with Green. I, and I didn't buy it and I thought more people were involved. And I knew that based on my RTO log that I had kept on who was out of the checkpoint that day, that Howard was out of the checkpoint that day. I separated him, um, you know, when we were eating food. Um, and I was just like, hey, you know, like this is messed up, man. I mean, can you freaking believe that, uh, you know, Cortez and, you know, Barker and all those guys did that to that family, you know, in green? And he looked at me for a moment and he was just like, what, you know? And I was like, dude, you know, I know, you know what I mean? Like I heard, and he's just like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, like when, you know, them and Spielman wanted to leave the wire, you know what I mean? Like they planned it out like the whole day before and blah, 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 blah. And this is how they did it. And, you know, they made me pull guard and, you know, it's like, man, that's, that's messed up. And I was like, yeah, it is messed up. You know, and after that, you know, I knew in my head, I was just like, it, like the whole picture just became clear of like how they did it. You know what I mean? Cause like, it didn't make any sense. Like, like how one person could have done it. And they all could have done it, you know what I mean? Like everything was playing back to me, how Cortez requested those people specifically, you know, to be with him at that checkpoint. It was like all the morally bankrupt people. And it just seemed like, yeah, this was planned and I believe it.